I've been teaching about embedded systems, which is really, you know, little microprocessors and little chips and what you can do with them, things that go into smartphones, um, things for the blind, things for sports. But I really fell in love with sports after I moved to this city. So I've been long wanting to do something that combined both the sports side as well as all the technology and the other stuff that I teach. So for a while I've been wanting to teach a course like this and with some enthusiasm and backing from our department and from students who wanted to take it, um, we decided to offer this for the first time and in fact we're the only people who have such a course in the nation. And the cool thing that we did this year was we actually had industry speakers, guest speakers who came out. We had Cisco come out. Wilson Football flew out all the way out for this. Um, NEP, which is you know a broadcast trucking company that it's located in Pittsburgh. You know, they gave us a facility tour. The Steelers gave us a facility tour. It was so cool for the students to see all this behind the scenes technology, and that was the best part. We saw that there were a lot of times when uh, researchers were putting accelerometers onto uh, different sports people and trying to find out how things moved and what uh, the way that people moved and what you could learn from that. So what we decided to do was make one platform that you could do all of those things. Um, you could analyze any sport that you wanted with uh, at a very high uh, frequency, very lightweight, very cheap. Um, so you could throw it anywhere you wanted and analyze that way. So this is uh, the, basically our example that we made. Um, we basically have our hockey stick and our sensor platform. Um, this is just our prototype right now. Our, uh, our eventual goal is to get it to about a, a little less than a quarter of this size. Um, and obviously without the giant batteries. Uh, but we can uh, we go and take a micro SD card, the same type that goes into your cell phone. We plug that in, turn it on to start recording. We do our hockey motion. We can uh, you skate around, you take a shot, you go wherever and do whatever you do with a normal hockey stick. Uh, we can record up to about 10 hours of data. We actually were able to get some better uh, information about uh, if you shoot with a hockey stick. Um, you see a really big spike right when it hits the puck. Um, you can see it, the, the rotation and how the player moves the stick in their hand. Uh, so it was really interesting. It's a, what we call adaptive music player. That the music player adapts according to the tempo of the speed that you're running at. And the reason that we set up this project is because, is because that we observed that um, many people right now are putting out their iPhone uh, as a music player during their jogging experience. So we thought that it could be better if we can create a more adaptive music player that really adapts according to the context of the uh, jogger. So that's basically the idea. The runner is going to want to listen to more like pop music sound. The runner got to run fast. It actually created impeders for the runner to exercise. So what we have is a smart tennis racket. And the aim is for the racket to tell you um, by your program whether you are hitting the racket properly or not. So if hitting it in the sweet spot, it'll tell you. If hitting it in like not a sweet spot, it's going to tell you. It's mainly for like beginners, people who haven't like you know played tennis before, just try get a feel of, like where they should be hitting the racket. And we hit the racket in this region. And you can see here that we had a lot of spikes over there, and that corresponded to over to this over here. So if you had hits in the center of the racket, it will give you a green circle, and if you had it in the corners of the racket, it will give you a red circle. So we kind of hit in between like a green and a red spot. So we had two circles, showing mm -hmm. a green and a red, and good, green is good, uh, red is bad, and. We, we give a smiley face telling you whether it's a good shot or a bad shot. So that was kind of like in between. The sports industry has lots of opportunities for technology. All the way from the fan experience to rehab after injury, everything. Game day, pre-game day, you know, when you're training, coaching, scouting, all the way from when there are kids, right, who start playing the first hockey game all the way to professional. So my hope is that they go out into this industry and they dominate because of the fact that we've given them the engineering skills to go do that. My hope is that they go out and maybe take over the sports industry, right? There's a CMU alum in with every one of these sports teams, these sports organizations, giving people good advice on technology. Our success is in shaping their lives so they can go do something cool with it.